Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. We've got the hint coins, so now we've got Sunglasses and Night Dude here. You two must have nerves of steel to come out all the way here. But that doesn't mean it won't test what you're made of. Try this puzzle on for size. Number 87, different suits. Worth 40 points. Below are 16 cards. There are four cards from each suit. Diamonds, clubs, spades, and hearts. The cards are arranged in a 4x4 grid as shown below, and four cards have already been put down. Arrange the remaining cards so that each vertical column, hor vertical column, horizontal row, and diagonal line of four cards contains one card from each suit. Tap a space to place a card there, or to change a suit. Well, this actually is a really easy start. So, let's see. First, we can do this. We've already got two of the suits taken care of. Let's see. And since that cannot be a spade, that has to be the spade, that has to be the heart. Now, this one, it's missing a heart and a club. Or, it's missing a spade and a club. Obviously, the spade can't be here. That's... Spade. I went right. Dang it! I went right past it again. And this has to be the club. Well, let's see. Now, in this, we need a heart, and we need a diamond. Well, let's see. The heart is canceled out pretty effectively there. So then we have the heart here. Oh, then once again, now there's only one possible answer for this one. This be a club, which means that this must be a diamond. And let's see, since we need diamond in this row and there's no other place for it to go. Which leaves this one as a spade. And then this one as a club. And then this one as a heart. Let's see, we got one heart here, one heart here, one heart here, one heart here. Yep. Then diamonds. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Diamond, 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 diamond. Spade, 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 spade. Spade, 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 spade. Yep, I do believe that that is exactly what we need. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Now that's what I'm talking about. Primo puzzle solving right there. Listen, Herzing Castle is on the other side of this forest. No one will come within a mile of it, but I hear the Duke's fortune is just sitting there in piles. If you're thinking about heading in, keep your guard up against the vampire or whatever's in there. And you're not done with us yet. Hey! This fork in the road is my turf. What's the big idea? Oh well, since you came all the way here, why not try your hand at this puzzle I've got? Number 105, Disappearing Act 5, worth 60 points. Now hold on to your hats, because this one's going to be rough. Just like before, you can move any ball in the board, blah, 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 even though it's not the final puzzle. The final puzzle will actually fill in all of those outside spots, and you just have the one here to deal with. But anyway, let's get started, shall we? Then we have to move that there. Then this goes all the way down there. Place there. Over to here. Then, just so I don't miss it, yeah, I need to continue to keep compressing this and get it fairly similar to something we've already seen before. Uh, move that back. And now we're back to a much simpler puzzle to solve. Mm, 
there, and move it up, and move it all the way around, and keep going, and going like the Energizer Bunny, and let's see, let me move you on there, and there, and there, and there, to finish it out. And now, to test my theory. A true gentleman leaves Easy no enough, puzzle isn't unsolved. It? You tore through that puzzle like it was nothing! Wild things live in the forest, pal. If you're set on going deeper, you gotta be prepared for danger. However... There's something very special about this man. He wants tea. He is the last person we have to serve tea to in this game. See these shades? They're my favorite pair, but no matter how I wipe them, everything's still blurry. Well, from where I stand, the lenses look just fine. Perhaps the root of your problem isn't your glasses at all. Tell me, do your eyes feel strained? Huh, now that you mention it, I guess they do. Well, B, aren't you the fast thinker? If you can learn to relax, your eyes might feel better. How about a cup of nice tea to aid the effort? Tea, huh? Well, heck, if it's no bother, I'll take you up on that offer. Something relaxing and what the heck. A little spicy and earthy would be great. Spicy, earthy, and relaxing. Uh, it's not going to be that... It has to have that one ingredient in it. That's not relaxing, that's just spicy. I don't remember. Mild, but not earthy. Spicy, relaxing, and yeah, that's earth in it. There we go, perfect. Now that's good tea. A smile spreads across Ray's face. He seems restored and in high spirits. Ooh, that's one spicy finish. I like, I like. And you know, I think my eyes do feel better. Thanks for the tea. It really helped me out. Huh. Ah, not again! What's the matter now, sir? I can still see that stupid fog. Maybe the air in full sense is just really polluted. We are now a tea master. And now we have the tea master's house. Right next to the pet owner's house, I think it was called. But now, we are done with you. Let's go this way. This must be the mine we heard about, Professor. Yes, and it appears to be sealed off. Just imagine it, Luke. They used to dig for gold in here. From what we've heard about the gold changing the town, there must have been a ton of it down there. But if it did so much for the town's development, why would they seal off the place? That's a question we might be able to answer if we can find some account of what transpired here. No sense in any more speculation. Let's venture in. But before we venture in... Click. And let's go ahead and check out the photo. Only two more photos left to take after this, huh? Number six, the mine entrance. Oh, let's see, what's something pretty obvious? Well, that peg right there is... Just leave it to me! That was almost too easy! Okay, let's see here. Well, this pole right here isn't there. Hmm, let's see if this works. Layton's apprentice strikes again. And then... Yep, this little bush right here is completely gone. Here goes. 
Maiden's Apprentice strikes again. So with that out of the way... Eh, hint coin? Yes, hint coin. Um, let's see here. You? Yep, hint coin there. Oh, let's see. Yep, hint coin there. And of course, the hidden puzzle. Professor, I think I've stumbled upon a hidden puzzle here. Number 66, the locked box, worth 30 points. Notice we're late in the game and just now getting number 66. Yeah, that one annoyed me for a long time. I thought I missed it. The box shown below is fitted with the lock consisting of two dials. You can't turn the blue dial, but when you turn the red dial, the blue dial moves equal amount. To see the relationship between the two dials, you turn you turn the red one from its original position as shown below. In order to open the lock, you must first turn the blue dial to 3, 6, 4, and then 1, in that order. Since you can't turn the blue dial directly, what numbers must you turn the red dial to in order to produce the desired numbers on the blue dial? Well, let's see, you turned it three. You turned it clockwise three. And it landed on five. So let's see if I can do this. Zero starts at zero, so you turn it to one. And it's going to go to seven. Then six. Five, four, three, two, and one. So let's see, we need the blue dial to three. Unless I completely flub this puzzle, and that's completely possible. Yes, I did. I missed that. I thought something was a little bit too easy. It starts at 5. That's the problem. That's what I'm doing. 5, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 0, and 1. So let's see. We needed a 3, so that's 2. Seven, one, no, wait, two, seven, one, four. Okay. <laughs> I like how that worked. Consider this puzzle solved. Huh, wonderful. Easy enough. Even if I screwed up and wasn't thinking clearly for a second there. Whew, that one was no picnic. We're done in here for now, so... And now we have a weird Round little... One. Where he helps us. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, let's see. Yep, and there's one there. And before we cut the video, there's another puzzle in here. There always is another puzzle in here. This door isn't going to open, Professor. Yes, so it seems we need to solve a puzzle first. Number 79, the gear switch, worth 20 points. Only worth 20, so this can't seem to be too difficult of a oh my god. This is going to take a while, isn't it? The buttons that opens this door in front of you is buried deep within this machine. Since you can't push it directly, however, 
By pulling the knob at the top to the left or right, you can move the various gears and plates in the machine, allowing you to press the button at the bottom. So in order to hit the open button, would you pull the knob towards A or towards B? Well, obviously we want this to go clockwise, so that would mean this would go to the right. And if this goes towards the right, it's spinning this counterclockwise, which means this is going left, which means that's going that way, that's going that way, so that's going that way, which means it's rolling that way. So we need it to go towards B. And now to test my theory. Not that difficult, really. Puzzle unsolved. You just have to be careful. Creak. Excellent. The door's open now. Let's proceed on. And we will proceed on next time. So until then, take care, folks. See you later.